What if Germany's leadership was ousted in 1936 and the nation went down a democratic path? Well, that's what we're going to be finding out today in Hearts of Iron 4. We will be keeping this particular game with the historical AI focuses on, so the only thing ahistorical is going to be our path, not everybody else's. Now, of course, the first thing we want to be doing is we're going to be opposing Hitler. This will start a civil war and it's going to remove the MEFO bills as consequence too. We're also going to be researching basic mechanical tools construction one electronical mechanical engineering and we're going to be doing interwar artillery so we get a little bit of funds done for the ryan metal organization construction wise we're going to be uh maxing out the infrastructure in Moseland, and then afterwards we're going to be queuing up as many construction factories as possible we'll be doing the same right after infrastructure max out in rhineland and then max out civilian factories we're doing this because we will start the war with the uh, western parts of our country under our control whilst the eastern bits will be under fascist control when the civil war triggers we're gonna get a little bit more support equipment some more artillery we're gonna be deleting the light tanks because we're not gonna be using them that much five basic small airframes we're deleting the medium airframe and we're adding two towed artillery factory lines with the Rhine metal of course gonna bring this up at the top of the queue so it's right next to the other artillery pieces as for the already queued up uh, submarines and destroyers we're gonna bring this down to one piece and we're gonna max out the factories so that we finish building this it's pretty much already finished most of these so we might as well give it a little bit of a nudge only exception from this is the Scharnhorst and the um Geniza now not really sure I want to finish those two because it's gonna be quite a while and a lot of uh, resources will be spent towards that I will max out convoys we also need some rubber so we're gonna be importing it from uh, our good friends in Siam our army shall be led by Monsieur Wilhelm Ritter von Lieb which will stay on our side and he has the infantry leader experience factor so he's gonna be getting this particular trait a little bit faster than most generals and the field marshal will of course be a Gerd von Rundstedt one of the best field marshals to have when you go democratic national focus complete the Wehrmacht officers challenge Hitler's authority and as such August von Mackensen is the new leader of the German military junta we also managed to get quite a little bit of political power so we're gonna be using that to get total mobilization this means we're gonna get basically no consumer goods only 10% down from 25% percent and we also get some bonuses for building up military factories problem is we will have a minus three recruitable population so we do need to get extensive conscription as soon as we have the uh, political power for it next i'm going to be going for army innovation i'm doing that so that i don't go for the four-year plan just yet we want to first to get machine tools and construction one done and then we can queue up construction two and dispersed industry one so that the bonus that we get from the four years plan will go towards dispersed industry two and construction three or if we really wait for a little bit longer we can do dispersed industry three and construction three which would be honestly probably more ideal at least from a min max perspective now with this one stranded unit over here we're gonna try and get as much land as possible and push out what the whatever fascist forces might still be lingering around there the rest of these guys here we've gotten some new units we essentially have the landsturm regiment we're gonna make them their own separate uh, army and we're gonna assign blast Goetz in charge of these guys. We're gonna go ahead and put Mr. Ritter in charge of the main army. Let's assign a front line for both of these. Let's make sure our troops know what the destination is, and that is, of course, the border with Poland. <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, most uh, German army's uh, destination historically has been the border with Poland for some unknown reason. And we're gonna make a separate uh, front line here for this particular one unit, the last of the Mohicans. No time to wait. Let's go. Push, 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 push. Everybody needs to push 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 most of our air wings we're gonna have on air superiority or close air support and we're doing that because we don't want to destroy with strategic bombing our own provinces as we're gonna be getting back these provinces afterwards we're also gonna merge up most of our uh, fleets here and we're gonna set them up next to Rostock so we get a little bit of shore bombardment uh, bonus and I'm gonna bring the uh, planes from East Prussia over here into the south of Germany or Western Germany because I don't really need 134 planes to support a single division. I'm also going to be using my tanks to split the uh, enemy army into two separate forces and I'm going to be encircling the southern bits and wiping them out so I make it a little bit easier for me to uh, win this war. The main idea with this is to honestly just get as much army experience as possible because once we become non-aligned we will not be able to send units to uh, the Spanish Civil War so this is basically our only chance of actually getting some army and air experience before the main war will happen. Ho oh, ho hold on a second there 
they're national socialists. You call yourself nationalists, socialists, but you're destroying your own nation's military and civilian factories and infrastructure? That doesn't seem very national or social of you, does it now? If anything, I'd say that's pretty antisocial, really. Oh, we've successfully encircled five enemy divisions. Actually, I think that might have been six, which uh, goes to show my math skills are not really as great as they should be, probably. Oh, we have an order in Circle Mountain, that's totally German, in case you're wondering. I know um, my German folks watching can confirm, right, guys? Right, guys? The last stand of the brave, um, um, yeah, 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 we're not gonna do that. They, they had it coming. They freaking had it coming, didn't they? Oh, no, you alfs dying, of us. I'm eating my mom. You guys have tried this? This is so freaking delicious, I swear. I love this. Best candy ever. Interwar artillery research. That means we can start with the uh, machine guns, which is gonna give us some uh, funds for the Mauser in industrial organization and we can do our very first trade for the uh, Rhine metal which is gonna be production efficiency gain why not let's uh, get that efficiency up a little bit faster shall we the south has been liberated hails to the yes brother we only have 29 army experience though I'd love to finish this war with maybe 50 army experience so I'm gonna try not to take Berlin so that I don't capitulate them at least not until I get 50 experience that is looks like we need a little bit of oil so uh, I'm gonna get some from Venezuela Two factories should be enough for now. About time we got 150 PP. Now we can do extensive conscription. So instead of losing mobilization per day, we're now gaining mobilization. Oh, come on, guys. Really? You freaking hurting my economy again? Honestly, the division attack and defense on core territory plus 20% that uh, August von Mackensen has is absolutely massive. All right, looks like we managed to get infantry expert for uh, Mr. Ritter. And I think we got infantry expert for the other guy as well, didn't we? Yes, we did for Johann Blaskowitz. Is this the guy from? Uh, returned from Castle Wolfenstein? Or is it a different dude? What do you think? Was that guy a double agent all along? Is that what's going on here? I'm actually gonna start improve machine tools just so I get the bonus afterwards. Not to worry, we still have the progress for the machine guns. It's there. We'll continue the machine guns after we've gotten the industry sorted out. Okay, guys, place your bets. Is this man gonna be fleeing Berlin? Is he gonna be going to Argentina? Or is he just gonna take one to the bottom? What do you guys think? My money's gonna be on... He gonna schnapple dupe himself. And... And he's found dead. Okay, well, that explains it. Heinrich Schlimmel is uh, the next one in charge. It's Jover. We got a little bit of equipment from that, and that's about it. Now we can start uh, rebuilding up our country, because it's going to be a long one, that's for sure. Now we're going to have to take care of the Nazi leadership, as my um, soprano friends would say, by <laughs> making sure nobody ever sees them again. We also can get Hjalmar Schach as our very first advisor. He's going to give construction bonus for civilian families factories, infrastructure, railways and refineries, basically the main things that we'll be building for the next few years in order to get ready for spreading democracy to the world. That's what this playthrough is about. And whenever the autarky is done, we're going to go down and we're going to secure the new state. We're also going to need some more units. So we're going to queue up some uh, cavalry brigades. We're going to change these cavalry brigades to actual infantry divisions after we've uh, spawned them in. But for now, we just need to have any divisions really because we only have 14 as it stands. Let's set them up by the border with the poles. And we can give quite a few divisions medals. Now, these medals will improve that division permanently, but we don't have the uh, lying around power projection. So we're going to give these medals way later down the line. Mauser's got a trade too. So let's go for the reinforced stocks, which is going to give us a little bit of extra soft attack and reviability. And eventually we can get up to 6% extra breakthrough once we've uh, gotten down this line. So I'm going to be duplicating the infantry division and I'm going to give it a proper German name. Make sure that they are set up as an elite unit so they do have a bit of priority when receiving equipment and I'm gonna be uh, giving them a special battalion the support anti-air which is gonna give them their very first anti-air attack it will increase a few other attacks as well along the way and we also can give them the recon detachment save it up this is gonna be our main template we also want to add at the very least one extra artillery so we get up to 21 combat with and we do have some extra soft attack 30 extra from just some uh, pieces of artillery this will cost us a significant amount of um, our army experience so we're only left with 35 now that being said I'm gonna be converting every single one of my unit to the uh, Prussian Space Marines as they were historically obviously known and I'm also gonna start the basic medium tank chassis research when it comes to the uh, military industrial organization honestly this is a little bit more of a personal preference in my opinion and my personal preference is the man company but Henschel is also pretty 
good as well. As is Daimler Benz, every one of them has their own unique advantages. I just like MAN because of the uh, traits they offer include not only breakthrough, but also production output, more breakthrough, more production output, and max speed. So they got all the things that I like about my tank. The new state has been secured. We have a chance of reviving the Kaiserreich, or we can go down the democratic path. Of course, we'll be democratic in this playthrough, but do let me know in the comment section below if you like me to do the Kaiser path at some point in the nearby future, because everybody knows Imperial Germany never did nothing wrong. Am I right? Eh? They were the real good guys all along, weren't they? Goddamn Versailles Treaty. We also want to get Hans Oster to lower the fascism and increase our base stability by 10. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to get uh, max out infrastructure in Hessen, followed by max out civilian factories in Hessen, and as well in the other two areas, we're going to max everything out basically. And you know what? I think I'm going to do advanced machine tools for the extra production efficiency cap. 21 fresh divisions. Let's make sure we change these bad boys to the uh, Prussian Space Marines. That means we're going to be short a lot of equipment, so we're going to have to get down to uh, building up our equipment. Place these bad boys by the border with the checks. Assign a proper leader for them, like Monsieur Blaskovitz. And we need to have 13 more divisions. I want to have two armies of 24 at least. It's also about time that we form our very first agency to uh, influence the politics of the world around us. And I'm also going to be going for free trade so that I can get the uh, construction speed plus 15, research speed plus 10%, factory outposts plus 15. Only problem is that we're going to be short a little bit of tungsten. We don't really have enough democracy support to uh, do the monarchy compromise. So until that happens, we're going to start with the uh, Kaiserwerk so we get the uh, civilian factories around our country to improve our economy a little bit more. From a cryptology point of view, our biggest enemy and the one we need to decipher is the Soviets, which is why we're going to focus on them first. They are the main and antagonist of this particular storyline and we must defend democracy against them. The Danes want a trade proposal. Sure, we are going to be a really great and amazing neighbor for you Denmark obviously. We can also do some anti-communist uh, raids which will mean that eventually we're going to be getting even more Zentrum or democratic support. Ooh, what's going on here? Looks like uh, a little bit of uh, tension brewing in the Asian bits. Oh look at that. Who's got an extra research slot? It's these guys. Yep, that's right. We going full on brain power today, boys. All right, boys, we got the medium tank chassis so we can actually start tank production now. The thing is, I really want to be uh, getting my uh, tank bonus from the research treaty with the USSR and then I can just flat out start with advanced medium tanks rather than just the uh, basic ones. Finally, we can also do the monarchy compromise. I could have done this a little bit earlier if I just invested some more political power into it, but I decided to fix my country and get it on the right track first before we go full on democratic. That's why we're up on 73 factories and growing. Oh my god, is that another research slot I'm seeing? Hell yes it is, boys. And girl, I know, I know my wife watches this too, so technically it's boys and one girl. Oh, would you look at that? We could even join the faction of the United Kingdom now as a democracy. And we can even get some of their licenses if we want to. Obviously they got dog schnapps, so we're not gonna get anything. We are still Germany, so we are technologically way more advanced than the Allies are. That being said, it is time for another army. Let's go 24 divisions of uh, brave Prussian space marines. And that's going to be the last one afterwards. I'm just going to focus on building up my uh, medium tank divisions. Oh, oh, this is so beautiful. Look at that. Not only that is seven slots, but we also have 22 research speed as it stands. We are the 20th century's Atlantis, aren't we? Probably would need some ships in order to qualify for being Atlantis, but uh, yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. The second that we don't play is the nationalists. We get freaking nationalists in France. I mean, come on, man. Really? Okay, this right here is an absolutely juicy trait we're getting from Ryan Metal. Not only do we get production efficiency cap and gain, but we also get design team assigned cost minus 15%, which is a big deal. Let's go ahead and change to the brand new improved artillery that we managed to research. Bulgaria seeks Balkan claims warranted. Uh, recognize Bulgarian claim. Should we give them? Screw it, man. We'll, get, we'll, we'll allow Bulgaria to grow a little bit just so they can see the light and come towards the democratic side just like we managed to. I mean to be fair there's more democrats in Bulgaria than uh, there are fascists. Oh no those scumbag nationalists managed to win the Spanish Civil War. Feels bad man. Oh Soviets accepted the treaty. Hail yeah. And we also got two basic medium tank chassis as part of the uh, deal. They are part of Daimler-Benz though so I want to change that to man. Wait what? This is actually pretty 
even. Holy snaps. I'm not sure which one's gonna win here. That is a little bit concerning, not gonna lie, because then we're gonna have two fronts, both against the French and the commies. I think we can all agree that the Great Red Menace is the real enemy of this campaign, and we really need to pull together as a united Europe to fight against them. Let's go! Time to get the strongest units in the campaign, boys. All right, our beautiful tank has the basics in. We got a gasoline engine, three-man turret, we've got the medium cannon, improved radios, and we're gonna do for the attachments, sloped armor for the extra armor, extra ammunition storage, and why not even the uh, wet ammunition storage as well. Add a little bit of extra armor to this bad boy. Let's say up to five and get the engines up to five as well. So we have 8.1 max speed. We got a decent 67 breakthrough with 20 and 15 soft and hard attack. We're going to improve upon this once we unlock better modules. But for the time being, this is going to have to do. We're going to select a different tank model though. I want something that's real juicy. Oh yeah, look at that. That's technically a panther, but it looks better. So I'm going to put that in. The time has arrived for a proper Central European alliance to help against the red menace and wipe them off the face of the planet how dare they want social reform disgusting we're gonna start inviting everybody to our little schnapple dupe of an alliance considering that all three of the low countries are already democratic and they're not in a faction i think the low country membership should be the first one i do they didn't join no way belgium are you kidding me why would you not join dudes you're literally democratic that's the only requirement well at least we managed to get two of the three i guess all right looks like the nordic countries also are democratic so let's invite the scandinavians up next maybe if we get some uh, non-aggression packs with them that might improve our chances of them getting into our alliance and of course senor heinz guderian is going to be in charge of our land doctrines because he also offers the 10 percent max speed for armor divisions which is a massive deal no we were too late to help our finnish brethren oh that is bad the soviets have attacked i'm also going to be building up my submarine fleet so i'm going to get the traits here for the uh, naval command visibility reduction is also a massive one when it comes to having a proper submarine fleet and we should probably get the army command bonuses too now i guess bold attack is a massive one whenever your uh, generals are leveling up and we shall go for maneuver warfare which is going to allow us to get the unexpected thrust selected a little bit more frequent air force command will be going for air doctrine cost uh, reduction until we get all the doctrines and then we can change out of that as well and why not let's do centralized control too oh and i forgot this one as well of course we're gonna go for the attack bonus there you go we've got that set up don't need to stress about it anymore now and we shall be putting senior rommel in charge of our tank divisions okay let's see who we joined denmark joined norway joined and sweden joined all three of them joined our alliance that is amazing oh my god i swear the democratic path for germany is honestly the fastest way to expand yourself even faster than the fascist one <laughs> sadly we cannot really do finnish membership since uh they are at war with the soviets but i am gonna do polish membership let's see if they join if they do then we can just uh be good best friends and attack the soviets together and oh my god the freaking nationalists are actually winning in france what the schnapps is going on here man please please france get your schnapps together you don't want to lose this man come on <laughs> well they're kind of mostly communists at this point so i'm not sure which side is better oh and it's on boys we started our atomic research not only for the research speed but because we also will get some ahead of time bonuses as democratic germany so we might be able to even get the big boys over here quite a few years before anybody else does poland joins the central european alliance and soviets move to secure sphere with the invitation of their border states to the central european alliance the soviets have warned in no unclear terms against further interference in the affairs of their sphere of influence oh boy oh boy okay they've declared war on lithuania that is not great that is really not great actually let's bring this army by the border with the soviets and let's also bring the uh, tanks by the border with the soviets too let's build up some uh, spy radio towers over here so we see what the hell is going on in the soviet union which just annexed most of the baltic pretty much instantly i mean these guys just speed run the annexation of the baltics at this point i think it's time for me to actually have two of my 
my armies on uh, the border with the Russians now. They are pretty dangerous, and I don't need them on the border with the Czechs, which are going to be joining my alliance any moment. All right, Austria joined the alliance, and the Czechs joined the alliance. Hell yeah. All right, now what we need to worry about is the French, which uh, have turned full-on nationalists and are basically going to be joining in the faction with the Italians, I would assume. And then also Hungary is not really our biggest fan. But really, the main issue is going to be, of course, the Muscovites, or better yet, the Soviets. Hungary is justifying on us. Huh? You know what I have to say about that, uh, Hungary? I'm gonna ask the Romanians to schnapple dupe you. <laughs> there you go. They're uh, mostly democratic and they are non-aligned, so they're definitely gonna be joining on our side. Only prerequisites for someone not to join on our side is um, that they be communist or fascist, which begs the question, why didn't Belgium join? Like, maybe there's a special thing where maybe it's just like a percentage towards them accepting or not. I don't know. It's also time that we uh, start getting some uh, motorized divisions to help out with the uh, actual tank force. Let's say 12 of them should be fine for now. And yes, I'm taking it a lot slower than I would in a normal playthrough as the Germans because we don't really have any actual enemies and it's not up to me, it's up to the enemy to attack because we are, after all, peaceful, democratic. Soviet-German trade agreement. Sure, they haven't done anything wrong now, right? I, I, if nobody look at the Baltic. Everybody take your attention away from the Baltic, please. Totally did not just sell my soul for like 12 oil. Also gonna help the Poles improve a little bit the infrastructure structure here which is absolute dog shit and maybe get some railways definitely need some railways all the way oh my god we actually need railways badly and supply set what the hell we got a, the supply hub in Vilno is the only one supplying this entire region there we go should be a tiny bit better now Austrian pro-German sentiment source the lesser German solution was a mistake or the greater German solution would be a mistake yeah sure screw it let's see if they accept Austrian people vote for unification oh yeah, baby. Oh, look at that. That is actually delicious, boys. Let's assign all of these units to Rommel's uh, mobile forces, and we're going to change them over to infantry divisions, motorized, so we can cancel the ones that we have in the queue. And it seems like we need a buttload more resources now as consequence. We literally have 182 civilian factories. What? Oh my god, dude. That's uh, a little bit powerful, I'd say. Not even sure anyone can take us on now. I'm that confident. Speaking of railways, I probably should upgrade some of my own railways as well especially by the border with the french here czechoslovakia appeals for help looks like the hungarians trying to take parts of uh, czechoslovakia yeah we're gonna help them out of course they are part of our alliance all right we got romania too that literally means we have most of central europe it's almost as if the name defines the location of the alliance right time for me to join my allies let's go attackius maximus destruction as hungaricum that was the fastest destruction of a fascist nation i've ever seen <laughs> at least we we can take one of their provinces or apparently we're just gonna let Hungary survive because the peace treaty was really poo poo. This is border gore and it is disgusting. And we're probably gonna have to fight Hungary again, aren't we? Okay, how many passports does this man have? He's got Brazilian, Argentinian, Austrian, and German. I am so confused as to his background. What is this guy doing with his life? This here, boys, is where this particular path for Germany shines. We're getting the pool technical know how alongside the RD program for all the nations and the alliance, and then we also get the Mannheim projects afterward two years ahead of time penalty reduction and a hundred percent bonus So we can do the nuclear bombs by 1942 if we want to which is three years earlier than anybody else will be doing it. Oh, wow I just put my planes on the market and they're getting sold so so freaking fast. Turkey especially wants a lot of my planes. Interesting. I think it's time for me to sell most of my old equipment though because I do have quite a little bit of it that I'm not going to be using since I've replaced it with way better equipment as a stand. Check out the difference when we switch from the medium cannon to the improved medium cannon. This is just actually insane boys. Not to mention we also changed to the advanced radio at the same time for this new design and we add the stabilizers which means we go up to 88 breakthrough. Now if we push up the armor a little bit and the engines we're going to have close to a hundred breakthrough on these tanks. Reliability is going to be a little bit of an issue though, but um, what is a German tank if not a very unreliable tank, right? We could change some things and we can say put a diesel engine on it, which is going to increase the reliability but lower the speed so we can increase our engine power then a little bit to boost up the speed again. Yeah, that works for me. And it has begun. We are going to be joining on the side of our Polish allies. Let's go. Now it also means we're going to have to lower the speed and we're going to have to bring our tank 
tanks into position why train when you can have the actual war happen am i right and because we are at war we can also do women in the workforce to get the extra manpower war bonds as well we got our battle plans ready and we're gonna be sitting here for a while we're gonna need to bring up our planes and everything looks like the soviets are in for a proper sitzkrieg as well cutting off most of the soviet army here and then encircling and wiping out these bad boys wait what norway just did a oh no denmark did a naval invasion in uh, finland holy snap someone's got a little bit of that uh, viking juice don't they all right boys it's time that we push let's go this one is for democracy and look at that we managed to encircle that army now we got to cut off their accesses from uh, the port so they don't fall back into their actual lands and we're able to actually wipe out this entire army group oh look at our boys pushing we broke through their defenses and now they're basically just uh falling to our troops like a knife through butter oh no they managed to fall back into the harbor so they're gonna manage to get their troops out of there that is not great i could have inflicted a lot more damage than i did i'm really starting to have issues with um airports there's just literally not enough airports for my planes to uh maneuver around the further east i get the less freaking airports there are oh looks like we got a little bit more of a pocket in uh also but not too many let's just uh try and see if we can just make a dash from moscow that being said look at that it's literally all green and we don't even have many equipment shortages we really don't have any right now we have a surplus of 2.5 thousand panzers i could technically make an entire new freaking panzer division if i want to an entire new panzer army better yet you know what let's do that let's actually freaking do that we're gonna need them against uh, the fascists maybe if they attack us i'm gonna start asking poland to give me control of the fringe territories otherwise every single thing that's conquered is basically polish land i'm not cool with that okay we're close to getting to stalingrad now and we've got a massive freaking beachhead over in the south part of uh, the soviet union and by beachhead i mean breach head probably not beachhead is it we're close to moscow actually as well probably could push there with our tanks couldn't we speaking of we should definitely go into um leningrad since we have most of our tanks around there the spaniards have uh, formed a little alliance with the portuguese the latin entente wait what oh the french also are in the latin entente oh my god that is juicy come on boys we gotta capitulate the soviets so we can fight the entente <laughs> finland has fallen no well actually it, it, it's pretty much yes because we're the good guys here okay there's no skulls on our freaking headgear not anymore anyway stalingrad is ours taken by the brave luftwaffen field division number six who in fact is gonna get a medal because of that before we do that though let's uh change from the motorization drive to the accomplishment heritage so we give these medals out for a lot cheaper there you go only 15 rather than 30 political power per medal these guys we're gonna give them the uh breakthrough plus 7.5 yay moscow's ours i do feel like i'm gonna get pushed back though here most of my army's fighting in the south i'm trying to get their oil fields and in the north probably shouldn't have this many units in one spot though let's uh let's fix that now hey yo this is way better we're having less supply issues as well because we uh spread out our units around the front this little type of encirclement here and there this is just literally what i live for when i'm playing this game especially when it's against the soviets eh i have to say i, I wanted to do this playthrough at the start because i thought it's funny to go democratic as germany but i'm not even capping it is really powerful. I've basically gotten most of my researches done by 1942 because of the extra research slot and because we got 44% already research speed. I've got most of Europe on my side and I'm having such an easy time wiping out the Soviets with like minimal amounts of tanks that I'm literally watching House on my second monitor and just chilling in the game. And now we've got the actual Panthers, the advanced medium tank chassis. Let's put some juicy medium cannons on that with the advanced advanced radio basically the same as the previous tank just a better chassis in essence now look at this actual freaking beauty over here 120 breakthrough 8 speed 93 percent reliability 32 21 94 and 112 armor with 12 defense and it actually costs less to produce oh my god this is actually insane i'm also holding shift and i'm getting some uh, proper railways all the way to the front line so i don't need to stress about that bit there you go 
double click and now everything along the line is going to be level five maxed out as you can see in the north wherever i built it up to level five to go and reach my front lines i'm not having any issues whatsoever that is actually a massive pocket and this is a confirmed pocket in uh, the baku area because they've got no ports from where they can leave so these are all done all right now hold on a second why is belgium all of a sudden willing to join my faction yeah i had a feeling the british went freaking oswald was like i clicked historical focuses my dude what is happening here is this like if you go democratic as germany everybody else goes something else is that what's going on because i'm a little bit confused well whatever the case welcome to the team belgium i think we basically wiped out like half a million soldiers in this pocket in the south we also pretty much unlocked the uh, policies for most of our organization so we're getting a buttload of bonuses i'm also training quite a few extra air wings in the south bit of germany in preparation for the uh fascist attack on the western front because we got italy we got the french we have the english that are now fascists so someone has to defend democracy right that someone's gonna be this guy um i'm well known for defending democracies in my games i totally never go down the other path wait what i can get brazil in my faction okay who else can i get in this the u.s oh my god oh it is so freaking jover it is so oh dude dude it is it is really really jover i cannot believe we got the us in our faction <laughs> We have essentially become the allies of our particular playthrough, haven't we? Wait, what? We're about to lose leadership of the alliance to the US. If okay, okay. All right, buddy. Gonna have to deploy a few more army groups in that case. And we've done a couple more encirclements in the south. Four million casualties for the Soviets. And we lo only lost 800,000. The Poles lost 600,000. Chile also is in our faction because they went to war with the Japanese. Okay. And I'm basically getting half the world in my faction, just like the allies did. I'm not sure how this happened, but the allies now consist of the British Empire, France, Italy, Yugoslavia, or better yet, Italian Yugoslavia. I don't even know when that happened. <laughs> Albania? That is actually just weird to me. United Mexican states joined the Central European Alliance. Is there literally anyone that's not in our alliance right now? The Italians have decided to attack us in a vile moment of uh, disgustingness. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to divert some of our attention now to the western front not just to the east probably should stop watching house and actually pay attention to the game now look at the freaking stats here enemy fighters lost in the last few days a thousand and ninety and we only lost 346 that's because we've got significantly best fighters than they have and we're researching jet fighters now so give or take a year and we're gonna be absolutely dominating the skies once we're done with the soviets we're gonna come in force and properly push into the allies because they are the freaking allies <laughs> just uh the baddie allies as um it seems in this particular playthrough the british tried to do a naval landing here and whilst initially successful when i spotted it and i sent my main armor division in we basically encircled close to three four hundred thousand british and allied troops which we're going to be quickly wiping out now so the turks joined the allies and managed to take most of my main oil fields. This is not looking good. I'm also waiting for political power so I can change my uh, conscription law since we're completely out of manpower so I cannot push. I'm gonna teach these Turkish scum a bit of a lesson here. I've encircled a massive chunk of their army and I'm gonna wipe them out as consequence so they learn not to schmaggle dupe with me. The great democratic power of Germany. Hey, that rhymed, that actually rhymed. Ah, finally, I can smell the oil back in my control. Now with our oil fields liberated, time to also liberate the people that have been shkabadubed by the uh, Turks for so long and uh, proclaim Greater Ludistan. Yep, that's right. I, thought you, I bet you thought I'm talking about another country, but no. The country we're talking about here is Ludistan. The people of Ludistan need to be heard! Alright, I think the best approach is to just start capitulating the allies. I was just semi-AFK, didn't really pay too much attention. But now... We're gonna be starting with the French. Once the French are down, that's the bulk of the allied forces since actually quite a lot of them are in France and we're going to be able to encircle them right now. Like all of these soy boys here, we probably wiped out like 30 divisions or so. Wait, is that an Italian camel division? What the hell? Holy mother of God, the ME262 actually costs a buttload of chromium, not just uh, rubber and aluminium. And I probably should change the icon for this. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a jet airplane, does it now? This, on the other hand, is the actual 
icon that we should have for it. Oh boy, look at this pocket here. That's another 30 division. Can we just take a second to appreciate how absolutely beautiful our brand new modern tanks are? And the Turks have capitulated, which means we now have access to the uh, Bulgarian and the Greek areas. Just gonna quickly assign Monsieur Rommel to this particular front. Let's go ahead and uh, wipe out some Bulgaros. Whoa, so many divisions over Dover. Would be a shame if, say, somebody was to click drop nuclear bomb. <laughs> Let's see this beauty. Let's see the very first nuclear bomb over Dover. Wiped out quite a little bit of their equipment, didn't it? And we've got the atomic bombing of Sussex for the first and hopefully last time. We waited for so long, we're gonna use a lot of nuclear bombs, trust me. I feel like they need a second nuclear bomb in Sussex. They they started getting a fondness for these bombs, so I might as well just deliver them, all right? It, it has to be done, boys. It has to be done. Guess you could say those were two very sussy bombs, weren't they? I really don't want London to feel left out, so I'm gonna give them a little bit of a nuclear bomb as well, just for good luck, really. With France capitulated, we can very easily move to the Italian uh, pieces here. They've basically got no defenses in their own homelands. They just sent everything off to fight in Africa for some reason. Sadly, there's not much of a strategic target left in the Soviet Union, but they're refusing to capitulate, so I'm gonna drop on a, a nuclear bomb just to uh, encourage them to be more lenient towards a capitulato. And uh, there you go. That did the trick. Now they've capitulated so we can take all the snaps we want to take. Uh, problem is, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to take everything that I want to take because the new peace deals kind of suck pee-pee, but it's fine. We'll let the Poles and all of my allies take stuff first. It looks like Sweden really wanted some parts in the south there for some reason. All right, I feel like that's enough Poland. The rest is mine. Thank you very much. Now let me take the oil fields in Baku. Goes without saying that we're going to be taking the stands. This has always been rightful German clay. Everybody knows this is pretty much common knowledge really as much as mongolia is just rightful german clay really that should be it confirm exit and uh, dariago we also have the russian federation and ukraine a part of our alliance set now since uh, they've been puppeted by our allies and uh we're just gonna ignore this side of europe for the time being oh what was that italy you want a nuclear missile in your capital as well i mean i i love democracy i just this is the best path for germany by far in my opinion oh they deposed benito mussolini oh Oh no, Benito, what did you do? You pissed off the aristocracy, didn't you? All the Italian leadership be like, we're losing, we're losing, it's clearly Benito's fault. Kick him out. Hmm, I wonder what happens if we send a nuclear missile in Sicily. Do we still have uh, the Sopranos? Oh, that's just beautiful right there. The Kingdom of Italy just joined the Central European Alliance and they're fighting against fascist Italy. My, my, how the tables have turned. And they're gone. That's it. That's it's Jover for the Italians. We just got to peace out the Brits now. We do have to liberate the Balkans first. So let's uh, quickly spearhead through the entirety of Bulgaria and what's left here. We're actually spearheading with one tank all the way to Athens without any proper resistance. I haven't seen a single unit in front of me here. Most of them are still trapped in the north trying to fend us off. So I'm going to be capitulating Athens just the way I capitulated Bulgaria. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. I'm stealing all your Eros, it's mine. What do you guys think? Should we give a little bit of a welcoming call with a proper nuclear missile in the center of Yugoslavia? I feel like this is the best way to make ourselves heard, isn't it? We're here. We're c uh, nuclearly armed. That's it. That's all I have to say. You know what? The Slavs are the chattiest here. They're the ones that have been properly fighting me and pushing me back in places, that's for sure. But still no match for the might of democratic cum. Now, is it a war crime to do this or is it just mercy? They've been stuck in this little Maginot line. They just need a little bit of entertainment. This is like fireworks for them, really. Jesus fuck, look at that, guys. We got 1,800 breakthrough on this modern tank division. Holy mother, dude. Looks to me like I need some more modern tanks. What is the a tactical situation that we can describe over here in Spain. I think it's called that they fucked up. They they massively, they're, they're dead. They're gonna die soon. That's the tactical situation name. Really hope I get another nuclear missile before they capitulate so I have uh, one for them as well. There you go. This is gonna be a tactical beachside uh, nuclear bomb. It really lit up the entire beach right there in Valencia. People just, they're so happy to see this type of firework. It's, it's amazing. Oh, New Zealand wants to join us? Don't mind if I do. Don't you just love encircling enemy units with tanks? 
ranks. I feel like that's the best part about this game. Imagine being the brave last defenders of Spain over here and seeing literally the entire planet's divisions fighting against you. <laughs> I'm gonna state my intentions of invading uh, the UK by just shipping off another atomic bomb just in good old classic looty fashion. I mean democratic fashion. All right, we got access over the sea, so it's time for us to do the invasion. And I mean, we're not even gonna use like marines or whatever the schnapps. We're gonna be uh, chance and we're gonna use tanks. That's right. We're using tanks to do a naval invasion. You got a problem with that? Don't worry. We're gonna nuke them beforehand. You see all these little battles over here? This is literally my massive air force destroying whatever's left of the English fleet right now. Valiant defense, but it's not gonna get you too far. A Vic Lip. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, look at them drop the bombs. Look at them drop them. <laughs> And we're in. It's Jover for the British. Let's Gucci von Strombolucci Attackius Maximus Destructionus Britannicus. I don't know why I'm singing, but I'm happy. Ludi, you're having fun whilst you're playing a video game. How dare you? You're not supposed to be having fun. You're supposed to be try hurting. <laughs> Fucking scumbag. Ooh, a great battle. One between massive tanks. We've got the brave panzer divisions against the Churchill divisions. Oh, who's gonna win? It's it's gonna be us. We, we're gonna kick their butts. We literally have six times more defense than them. That is actually insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who did that? That was not me. Oh my God, somebody else has nukes. I mean, it's 46. They should have by now. I'm guessing that's the Americans. Oh my God, the Americans nuked Liverpool. <laughs> This is why I like to uh, drag the game a little bit till the end of the campaign because I like to see all the nukes go boom boom around the map. We won the war. Definitely gonna take the uh, Turkish bits because that's just proper German clay. Everybody knows. We're taking Greece for strategic going on vacation reasons and we're pretty much taking all of Africa simply because I can. Taking Madagascar for reasons I'm not gonna really disclose right now and this is what the new world order looks like we've got most of france as what the hell is going on here why is france oh okay so they're just an independent democratic france that's what's going on we did take this bit here and apparently free france also wants to join our faction okay i'm not sure what the hell i just did in that peace deal but the reality is that things are better now okay things are way better look we can invite everybody that was our enemy before <laughs> we're inviting palestine guys palestine's part of the good guys here okay we're inviting Sierra Leone. We're inviting all these nations that we just basically liberated from the vile British. And ta-da! A free world, a democratic world. It only took us roughly around 20 nuclear missiles to convince everybody democracy is the way. Massive thank you to all of my patrons and channel members as well. I really wouldn't be able to do this without all your support. If anybody else wants to join, you will have a link in description.